that camera out of my face. Here we go. <laughs> you want you want to drill your hole right about here. Oh shit. What? Did you notice how quiet it was down here? <laughs> Twenty-three. That's uh age oh. of consent. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> Close enough, you know. This is probably level. This, throw it out. You make that sound effect. Okay, for this, you want to delicately tap the box into level. All right, looks good to me. Get a magnetic one. You can easily pick it up so you can throw it. Away. I hear a squeak. Somebody left the teapot on. Looks level to me. Looks level to me. <laughs> Glass breaking sound effect every time you do that. Yeah. Whistling noise. Yeah. And the SpongeBob guy. My leg! SpongeBob's got to be one of the top ten funniest shows of all time. I've never even heard of it. Actually, we're sponsored by SpongeBob. You don't have to duck down here as much. I guess over in here it's a little higher, but I'm a little higher. <laughs> When I wake up in the morning before coming into work. Yeah, I, I I take a hit and then reggae music plays from somewhere. I don't know where it's coming from. And then I go. I went through. Oh, there's gold in these walls. Looks level to me. All right, now next step is to move this fridge. Oh, shit. Oh, jeez. Jackpot. Oh, oh, oh. Just breaking these tabs out. Looks level to me. Sometimes it's only after you give up that you can really figure something out. A parable about marriage. I was wondering why I could barely hear that music. <laughs> uh, never use a knife to strip insulation because you'll cut the wire. <laughs> No, you shouldn't touch anything. <laughs> when your hands are in here, you don't touch anything. <laughs> but absolutely never use a knife. Never use a knife to strip insulation. Crash goes on the ground. <laughs> everything went super smoothly. If I do everything right, <coughs> we should be safe. <laughs> so now that we have the wire hooked up into the main box, it's kind of difficult to work with these because they could be hot. But not to worry, I left the breaker off, so these are definitely dead. So, like I said, <laughs> into the box, you want about six to eight inches, so you have an easy room to play around with. And now, like I said, don't copy me because, you know, you would probably leave it live. Never use a utility knife to strip wire. I think your finger's in the shot. I hurt my wrist the other day jerking off. Nobody wants to work anymore. No. <laughs> There's like some old dude in front of me at a uh, Busy Beaver, and this guy was like, yeah, nobody wants to work anymore. They just want to sit in their basement and smoke pot and play video games. And I was like, that sounds awesome. Like, I would much rather be doing that. I use a utility knife, which is something you should never do. You'd be a good foreskin guy. All right, now that everything's hooked up, it's a moment of truth, and we can turn this breaker on, and everything should work. <laughs> In the shot. Number one degree, really, yeah. Yeah, Fortnite, we about to get down. Get down. Take me to your Xbox and play Fortnite. I really want to do now, the moment of truth, now that everything's hooked up, everything should be fine when I turn it on. We could be pro Fortnite gamers. I'm Wisty Meyer, but not Luke Blake. I really want to. <laughs> <Have> my... <laughs> Looks like shit, dumbass. We could be pro Fortnite gamers. Take me to your Xbox. We're gonna get so many haters, dude. Get the camera out of here. Just like peeling a hot dog. Now remember, the black wires are always hot. 
so you never want to <laughs> Now, when you're doing electric, you gotta make sure that the black wire goes to the brass, and you never want to touch the truck. Don't do any of this yourself. Hire me to do it all. God damn, dude. This shit goes hard. I make sure my hands are stained with soot before I touch this part. Instructions for losers. Which way does it go? All the way. Electric's easy. Never hire an electrician, do it yourself. We'll do the actual work in different videos. Is it filming? We need to get sponsored by fucking dude wipes. So this wire should be, uh, dead. <laughs> you don't want to know what goes on in my twisted mind. I'm like the Joker. You want to know how I got these stains? <laughs> no, he said I'll kill myself, but then I can't get my life insurance. What if you jump off the Westinghouse Bridge, but you put a banana peel where you jump? As if to imply that you had slipped. <laughs> would normally, what would be the hot wire would be. But these wires should be dead, so. Cut, cut, cut. I'm making a gay porn parody of Dumb and Dumber. It's got gay and gayer. Did you just think of that now? <laughs> yeah. You're gonna say come and comer. It, I love whole... bullying. Name this video, <laughs> Commercial Ideas. <laughs> now when you're testing wires, that means it's not with a wire tester. When you put it up to a dead wire, turn it on, it'll freak out. But now you know that this wire is safe to touch. Dude, one time, somebody had put a bunch of razor blades in the handle of my Mazda. And one of my ex-girlfriends got in and slit like one of her fingers. And she was like, what the fuck? And she was like, why are there razor blades in here? I was like, like you did that to your car. We did have to go to the, uh, not the hospital. I took her to the Unimart in Troy Hill. <laughs> Unimart? And I got her some bad <laughs> She was fine. Carpentry. <laughs> now, when you're uh, hammering in staples, you want to make sure you hammer it in really hard to make it look nice. Kiss, kiss, kiss. My hammer's fucking yours. Oh no, don't do that, Jay. That's how you get more hammers. 76, 34 and a half, 24, 38, 8 foot, 7 foot.